Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. As you know, with the recent videos that uh, we've uploaded to the Locker Gnome YouTube channel, I have been in search of the best solution for the ultimate wireless setup here in my home. And I stumbled through a few options like WDS, which kind of worked, but also kind of didn't. But in that process, I learned what did not work. I mean, absolutely did not work. Uh, then uh, I, I kind of left well enough alone and went back to just one access point. And I got an email, just a random email. It was just, uh, I don't think it was about three or four days ago, from Dennis Klein, all the way from Germany. And he was suggesting something that he read inside the manual for the airport. And I happen to uh, use a series of airports in my home uh, just because I, I've, I've had them around and, you know, what am I going to do? I mean, I tried selling them, but no one really wants to buy them. Either way, just upgraded one of them to a newer version and, you know, moved the other one on down the line. Uh, so... I decided uh, to uh, take a look at his particular tip, even though I, I was kind of struck with, you know, this the confusion. Because what he was suggesting, and he said it worked, was that I would set up each one of these airports uh, to broadcast and create its own wireless network under the same SSID, same channel, etc. It's like, what? That'll work? As long as... Each airport is connected in a wired capacity, and in my home, I do have wires running through the walls, and my routers, uh, or bridges in some instances, uh, are connected in a wired capacity. So they are connected, wired, not just wirelessly, and when they are connected in a wired capacity, you can set up the airports to create a wireless network on each one, and there should be, theoretically, no interference. Uh, this has been said to work by some. It certainly worked for uh, one person in my community. It also worked for me when I tried it. I was kind of shocked, actually. Uh, when I talked to Brandon Wirtz, you've met Brandon, no, no doubt. If you haven't seen that video in the channel, you should probably watch it. Brandon's like crazy, geeky, like insane. Uh, he said, you know, it's been argued that you pretty much have to be sitting on top of the wireless access point uh, for that to work very, very well. But in my usage... Uh, in having everything working this way, uh, it's worked out really well. And the true benchmark is not just me and what I've seen empirically, uh, in, in not just the, the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum, but the 5 gigahertz spectrum. Uh, my girlfriend was complaining that before we'd done all this wireless tweaking, it, the internet speeds were slow. But what do you think about the wireless network now, hon? It's perfect. It's fast. It's perfect. It's fast. You heard it there. She is not a geek at all. And she says that it's now working well. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on a wireless mode here, create a wireless network inside the airport software, name it the same thing as I named the other wireless network, live.perillo.com. Uh, I could allow the network to be extended, sure. Radio mode, automatic should be fine. Radio selection, radio channel selection, let's go manual edit, uh, channel 11. And the 5 gigahertz channel I have set up is 157. That is the other, uh, I have two airport expresses, or I'm sorry, two airports that are capable of broadcasting in that channel. WPA personal for the wireless security key. And uh, see here, I think that's about it. That's all I needed to do. Only other thing I think I wanted to do is make sure that the 5 gigahertz network is set up. And I set up my 5 gigahertz network in the area as chris.perillo.com, multicast rate low, use wide channels, always want to do that. Update. That's it. So now my wireless network should perform even better. More bars and more rooms. Got to be careful not to. Either way, I appreciate you sending me the tip. And I, I tell you guys, in every single video, what do I say? If you have a tip, a suggestion, you want to drop me a line, what is it? I give you my email address, chris at perillo.com. Thank you. Thank you. Believe me, I listen. Can't answer every single question you throw at me, but believe me, I'm listening. And your tips definitely work as soon as I realize, oh, yeah, hang on. I've got I've to turn this into bridge mode. My bad. Internet. Uh, connect using connection sharing off bridge mode. There we go. By the way, the reason why I have to switch it back to bridge mode there, 
cute story. Uh, Comcast, uh, I used to be on a business class connection. I decided to switch to residential because it was more affordable, even though I'm about halfway to my 250 gig cap already, and it's not even like halfway through the month. I'm not doing anything crazy, really, that I know of. I'm a little worried. I'm going to be doing a video on how to monitor network traffic. Uh, by the way, stay tuned for that. Uh, Brandon's going to come over and bring over uh, one of his tools to to better demonstrate how I'm just using all my bandwidth. Either way, uh, they flipped a switch. They saw that I was no longer paying business and turned me off. So I was like offline effectively for about 24 hours before they realized, oh, you're paying residential now. We, we can turn you back on. And I'm grateful that they did. Uh, but for the, that day, the only connection I really had other than 3G was the connection I usually use for the live video feed, which is the uh, DSL connection here inside my home. So I, I basically uh, swapped out the router up here or one of the airports here to connect and, and help me use the DSL connection, which let me tell you, running the live video feed and then trying to surf the web at the same time was just painful. Not recommended for anyone. It's one of the reasons why, sorry, not recommended for anybody if I if I slurred my words there. Uh, the uh, 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 I'm glad I have the second connection. I am absolutely grateful that I have that because running a live video feed on my regular home connection would just, uh, it, I would lose so much bandwidth. Even though I'm now 100 down, 10 up when Comcast has me on and they don't get upset at me for, I'm, I'm gonna I'm cut, I'm gonna cut it close. I have a feeling like I'm gonna be offline for like the last 10 days Please, Comcast, do not, do not disconnect me. I promise I'm doing legitimate things. I'm addicted to Twitter. You can find me there, at Chris Perillo. Facebook.com slash Chris Perillo. Google Plus, you can find Chris Perillo there, too. Hell, you can find Chris Perillo all over Google. Chris.perillo.com, LockerGnome.com, LockerGnome.net. Blah, 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 blah. Does anybody even listen to this part of the video? Your internet connection still good? Yeah. Good. You can uh, geek out with us in the chat room. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. It's part of a live video feed at, of all places, live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.